exciting time, and it is always exciting here in Alexandria when the Aces have their opening day. And the Alexandria Aces version 2011 will make their debut tomorrow night when they host the Acadiana Cane Cutters, one of the new teams coming into the league. And that'll be at 7 o'clock out at Bringhurst Field. We're excited to see what these Aces have in store this year in the uh, Texas Collegiate League. And joining us to talk more about it is the manager of the Alexandria Aces, who happens to also be the head coach of the Louisiana College Baseball Program, Mike Burns. Uh, coach Burns, or should I call you Manager Burns during this time of the year? You can call me Mike, buddy. How you doing, Al? <laughs> I'm doing very well, and it's nice nice of you to take time to join us. Uh, I know you guys have a practice coming up this evening, and how are things coming together as far as the team and all these players that you're kind of bringing in together and trying to, to make into a cohesive unit? Well, we've got a lot of guys uh, that are coming in. We've got about 15 that are in right now. We're expecting another. 13 or 14 to get in here within the next three or four days. We got guys that are doing the end of the year, uh, finishing up with their schools that they're at, uh, just getting knocked out of the playoffs and stuff. Some we got three players that, uh, play for LSUS up in Shreveport. They're in the World Series right now up in Idaho. They won't be here till the end of the week. We've got a couple players that are, that are out right now down in Florida that are throwing for, uh, different teams, uh, a couple pitchers that are on invitation. Uh, only pitching oh, down there, showing what they've got, uh, one for the Marlins, one with the Pirates, and uh, we had one that threw for the Rangers yesterday. So they're all coming in, and we're hoping to have a, a, a nice squad and uh, a bunch of guys that are just hungry and want to get better and, and put on a good show for the fans in Alexander. This will be the second year that you're participating in this in this wooden bat college league which uses amateur players, not, not former uh, you know, affiliated players like the old Aces were in independent league where they were professional players. So as you go into the second year now, how do you anticipate things being different, better, or just applying what you, what you guys learned from last year? Well, it's, it's just like anything. There's going to be bumps in the road that you're going to hit. Uh, our guys, that they've got to understand when they come in here, this is a, a marathon. It's a 60-game schedule. And we play in about 70 days, and it, it's it's tough it, it, with the travel and everything, and uh, it's just, it's just a lot of baseball. And they get to see what it's like to play minor league baseball or play or can get into the major league baseball. You know, this is what it's all about, and and it gives them an idea. Plus, it gives the the for the, them a chance to get better during the summer playing the wood game, which is the pure game of baseball. Then, if they can play at the next level, and they go from there. And on that subject of that next level, I know that the June draft for Major League Baseball has come up, I think, next week. And last year, this league actually had quite a few players that were drafted, and I'm sure you anticipate that happening again this year. Well, last year, it was really surprising when I, when I think, told me the statistics. I think we had 30 guys in the in the, in the the league that were drafted. So, uh, you know, I think we've got a couple guys coming in that have been talked to by by some uh, uh, Major League teams. There may be a chance. You know, you just got to wait and see. And and if, if if it's a good fit for them and, and they, you know, it's all about money and, and all that, we'll just wait and see. But uh, we just got a bunch of guys that are coming in, hopefully they're going to be hungry, they want to get better, be seen by the scouts, and, and play the greatest game in the world. We're talking with Mike Burns, the manager of the Alexandria Aces. They have their opening game tomorrow night, 7 o'clock, at Bringhurst against the Acadiana Cane Cutters and looking forward to seeing what what this year's team looks like. Now, last year you had a couple of local guys, and it sounds like you're going to have a few more local guys on the team this year. Yeah, we've got uh, we've got several uh, local guys. We've got Jamie Rachel and Kyle Fiesel, both from uh, out in the Oak Hill area, played at Oak Hill High School. Jamie's at Baton Rouge Community College. Kyle Fiesel's at, at Bellhaven. Uh, we've got Ted Hilger, who uh, went to – Holy Savior Menard High School. He's playing right now at, at, at LSUA. Uh, he's playing for us. We've got Jacob Roark, who's going to be our starting pitcher tomorrow. Uh, he's from LaSalle High School. Throws at Northwestern. Uh, you know, we've got uh, several other guys. That uh, Josh Sims, another local guy from from Isla, Louisiana, plays at LSUE. Uh, you know, we're excited about having him in there. He's going to be a bullpen guy for us. So there's a, a real good local flair and. Uh, the, the fans are going to be able to come out and, and really recognize these guys and relate to them. We've got uh, Matt Fury is going to be in here first of the week. Uh, just finished up with LSU. He was he played for us last year. Uh, so it's going to be a good mix of guys. We've got guys from up in New York State and 
uh, basically from all over. We've got guys representing nine colleges here in the state of Louisiana, and then they're all coming together, and it's all about chemistry, and hopefully the first week, you know, we can mesh together and everybody get on the same page and go from there and hopefully have a great season. Coach Burns, I know you spent a lot of time out of Bringhurst during the years of the Aces when they were in the independent leagues, and you were pretty much a regular fixture out at those games. Now having a chance to actually manage this franchise and to take them into this transition, how much fun has this been for you, and how exciting of an opportunity has it been for you? Well, I'm I'm excited uh, anytime I'm on a baseball field, but uh, to come in with a bunch of hungry kids, that, and I call them kids, that, that they love to play a kid's game in a man's body, and they can they can change change channels and, and become a kid for three hours a night. It's the, it's the greatest thing in the world. So, you know, uh, these guys are they're, they're still kids to me, but they they want to get better. Hopefully, someday you may see one of them on TV. Who knows? But uh, uh, they're coming out, and it's something that they've been doing since T-ball, and they're still able to do it and get better, and then go back and finish their education or go on and play major league ball or, or uh, professional baseball. It's just a, it's a great opportunity for them, but it's a great opportunity for for the fan base to come out and see some of the best players you know that uh, the game's got to offer. These guys are going to put on uh, our guys. I can guarantee you are going to play the game hard, play the game with respect, and represent Central Louisiana well. And that's one thing that I think people have come to expect when they when they go to Alexandria Aces games is that they're going to see you know quality competition, and, and you're definitely continuing that in this in this new league. One thing, too, I think people can always count on is that when they take their family, they're going to have a good time and a good experience at the ballpark. And I know that Eric Moran in the front office, I'm sure they've been working hard to put together good packages for promotions and things like that this year. So uh, it's just one of those rare things that you have in the area to bring the family out and just enjoy a great atmosphere and a great evening every time you come to the ballpark. They've got a, they've got a lot of specials set up and, uh, during the season. It's a 60-game schedule, 30 games at home, 30 games on the road. You know, this, they're, they're through the month of June and July and, and part of August, it all starts at 7 o'clock at night. You know, when the sun's going down and you get up in the stands and the fans are on, it's, it's, a, it's a lot cooler than you think. A lot of people say it's too hot, but if you're up in those stands and the fans are on, it's enjoyable and, and, and relaxing, and, and hopefully we're going to put on a good show for you and, and, uh, and you'll see some great baseball. Now, the Cane Cutters that you're playing tomorrow, this is a new team, right, in the league? Is that right? Yeah, they're... they're they're a new team in the league. They're in Lafayette. We're gonna. There's gonna be six teams in the in the league this year. Uh, they go all the way. There's four teams in Texas and two in Louisiana. So it's uh, gonna be great baseball. And like I said, they, the the Cane Cutters got some great players coming in on their team, and and, and it ought to be just. Uh, I'm I'm looking forward to it, and and it's gonna be a long season, but uh, we're gonna do everything we can to make it the best season that the Aces have had now. Again, you're going to see these guys. You're not going to just see on on at nighttime at the ball games. You're going to see them. They're going to go during the day. We're going to go to day camps and visit. We're going to go to uh, the, the hospitals, VA hospital, and visit the, the the veterans. We're going to be, you know, anybody that's putting on a promotion that wants the Aces out there. We want to help promote Central Louisiana and help, you know, support the Alexander Aces. So anybody that we can help out in, in that in that respect. It, there's more to it than just baseball. Absolutely. Now, we're going we're gonna to try and do whatever we can do. Yeah, and Bringhurst is just one of the best places you can ever really watch a game. It kind of makes you feel like you're you're going back into the 30s or 40s watching baseball. And, and, and I think Jody White was there when they were playing in the 30s and 40s, right? <laughs> you're right. I believe so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Coach Burns, uh, thank you so much for taking time. I know you guys have a practice coming up this evening. And looking forward to tomorrow night's opening game. And, and best of luck to you this season. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate you. All right, that's Coach Mike Burns, the manager for the Alexandria Aces. And, again, we're looking forward to their game tomorrow night, 7 o'clock, out at Bringhurst against the Acadiana Cane Cutters out of Lafayette. We're back with more. You're listening.